I have seen the comments about doing an updated video, so here this is. If you haven't watched my buying a used car, or buying my first car realistic video, go check it out. And this video is just kind of going to be an update since I've been driving it for over a year now. Telling you about buying a new car or how to even buy a car. Just giving you guys some tips and tricks. Again, I can only speak on buying like a car cash from somebody because that's the only thing I've done. I have a 2005 Toyota Corolla. I brought it with about 150,000 miles on it. Since then, I've been driving it for over a year now. The only thing that has happened is the starter has went out and that was something I've literally paid somebody from school. It's, the part is very cheap and you can honestly YouTube it. And it was a really quick, easy fix. It was fixed in a day. And the other thing is getting one of my blinkers replaced. Other than that, it has just been maintenance. I got new tires recently. I do my um, oil changes re uh, frequently and like getting all my fluids and stuff checked. And that's about it. This car gives me literally no troubles. As you guys can see, I did get some pink car seat covers different from what I had in the video. And I also have like a pink fuzzy steering wheel. Things they don't tell you about buying a used car. Number one, make sure that whenever you are looking for a new car or buying a car of somebody that it comes with the title and the title needs to be a clean title you need to have the title without a title you do not legally own a car and you will not be able to do anything like illegal with it you won't be able to register you get insurance on it you need a title and that's just basically like a legal record showing that you own your car it also shows the past histories of people who own your car um you also want to make sure the less amount of people the less amount of previous owners is a good sign if there's a whole bunch of owners of the car it's likely that it gives a lot of people trouble and they keep having to sell it um my car only had two previous owners the first owner being an old, older couple the second owner being a young guy from work who just i mean i'm sorry a young guy um who used the car for work and then once he built his family and started having more kids he just needed a bigger vehicle so that's always a good sign something to look out for low miles of course and then when buying a car you always want to pay attention to the older cars that you see on the road for example i saw a tiktok about a jeep and how this girl regretted buying a jeep and someone commented you know pay attention to how you always see older toyotas older older hondas on the road you rarely will see an old jeep or um i know fords give a lot of people problems nissans always have transmission issues so i definitely say you really cannot go wrong with an old toyota old honda and there's a few more of them out there next thing you'll need is a bill of sale also whenever you i don't know how it is in every state i know in my state louisiana you have to go to a notary and you can literally search up notary um, near you so for example if you go to the car you like it they have every all you know all the paperwork that they need you would say hey let's go drive to the notary or you know we can meet up at a later date to go to the notary it's literally someone that just kind of officially signs over the vehicle from one person to another and they will handle fixing the title and signing the bill of sale and things of that nature so it really makes it easy and official if you will um also bring a mechanic if you do not have um someone in your life that knows about cars bring a mechanic tell the person that you are um possibly going to be buying the car from that you will bring a mechanic and obviously if they are trying to talk you out of it that's a bad sign right then and there um so yeah definitely get a mechanic to check it out there are certain things that you just make sure that you test everything even if you want to look up everything that they test at like to get your inspection sticker pass you know check all the blinkers the radio the ac um go up to a, a high speed like drive on the interstate or somewhere where you can get up to speed to make sure that you know the car doesn't start shaking or knocking at a certain speed that's a very common thing 
I wouldn't, I would try to stay away from buying a car that the check, the check uh, engine light is on, but also a lot of older cars, they will have that check engine light on for a number of reasons. Um, you can literally go to O'Reilly's to plug a diagnostic plug in your car and it will tell you, and it will also let you know kind of how urgent or, you know, um, severe it is and whether or not you should buy it also just so you know to register a car in your name you have to have your license and you have to have insurance so literally i got my license in one day and as soon as i left the dmv i went to the parking lot called and got insurance on my car and then went right back in to register it so i was at the dmv all day i was also in the parking lot stressing calling every single um car insurance that i could and I would have never guessed that State Farm was going to give me my lowest quote. Everyone was quoting me high crazy amounts and I got liability on this car for I want to say 250 ish and then after six months it dropped severely um, and I was paying 115 Now part of my, my discount and like the biggest reason I have a discount I guess you could say is my drive safe it's basically just a little sticker a uh, little car mount that i stick on my windshield and it tracks my driving it tracks my speed if i'm on my phone if i'm braking too hard um things like that and it gives me a big discount i at first was doing really good with it and then um you know the more comfortable i got driving the worse my scores were so it went from 115 to 156 so that's what i'm paying right now 156 um i've been working on you know being more cautious with that so that hopefully my rate goes down in like the next quarter I think they do it quarterly my payments have stayed pretty consistent if you have an older car sometimes it's not really worth it worth it to get full coverage so um if you are gonna do liability make sure that you're being responsible and you're putting money to the side um in case anything happens to your car because you know in case you total it and then you don't want to be completely out of a car so um you can kind of be the judge whether or not you would want to get full coverage on it and then um if if you won't get full coverage and get liability put uh, x amount of money in your savings towards um you know getting a new car down payment something um in case something happens to your car that's really all i have for this video let me know what kind of what other sort of lifestyle videos you would like me to make um i can teach you guys how to budget how to save how to break down your paychecks how to break down your bills i'm really into those type of um videos career um type videos whatever you guys want to see if you want to see just like a daily vlog like a regular day in my life or drive with me any other car related videos let me know and again um i don't think i've said it in this video but thank you so much for the support in my last video and i will see you guys in the next one